Okay. So, um, so this is how we put the OC Metro Minute together. Okay, so let me get your name again, sorry. Okay. So um, I'm here at the uh, Chur Media, and I'm here with Kimberly Peraza. And so you're walking us through your process or your workflow for your uh, five-minute uh, news clips we that call you... We the OC Metro Minute, but we like to joke it's anywhere between a minute and a half to four minutes, depending on the content. But we've tagged it the OC Metro Minute because it's supposed to give the user the quick headlines of the day. Great. Uh, they'll find more detail on the website, but the OC Metro Minute just sort of summarizes all of that. So awesome. we do this every weekday morning, and this is, as far as we understand, still the only web-first weekday business newscast in Orange County. Wow. We preface that with web-first, because this is not over the airwaves, of course, it's exclusive content for, for ocmetro.com. And so, when, when did you start? You started uh, just a couple of years ago doing this, right? June 5th, 2008. Wow. When we launched uh, OC Metro, this is the centerpiece of our website. We wanted it to be interactive, we didn't want it to be just all print, so, you know, a lot of user interfaces, and this is the as I said, the centerpiece of it. Wonderful. Do you mind doing the introductions of the team again real quick? Sure. Quickly? Okay, great. Sure. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, she's running through it now. We'll uh, let her finish that, and then okay. we'll introduce each person. For those Super Bowl partiers, thank you for Orange County. The Heaters to Go from Z Tejas at South Coast Plaza is offering a selection of chicken, veggie, beef, or shrimp for groups of 15 or more, but you have to place your order today. But that's not the only event going on in going on this weekend. Some 50,000 competitors and spectators are expected to attend the Surf City USA Marathon in Huntington Beach, which has become an annual Super Bowl Sunday tradition. It's the largest combined oceanfront marathon and half marathon event in the state. The first race kicks off at 6.30 a.m. on Pacific Coast Highway just south of Main Street and the Pier. Okay. Okay, let me make the quick introductions again. This is Tina Borgata, Editor-in-Chief of OC Metro. Hello. Hi, Tina. And, uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Host for the OC Metro Minute. This is Kristen Schott. She's our web editor. Hello. Hi. Thank and you. Albert Ornelas, who does our camera work and all of our web updates. That's really hot there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's a I hot got it. I, got, I need a reflector. <laughs> now, did you want me to talk you through the process? Yes. Let's go ahead. Yes. Very good. Thanks. Okay, basically, Tina and Kristen are compiling press releases and pulling information off the wires uh, the night before and then first thing in the morning, so we get okay. fresh content. Okay. And Kristen does the writing of the script, and she actually uploads it to, uh, this is an old uh, iBook, and mm -hmm. we bought, I think it was like $50 software for teleprompter software. Wow. And you just, you know, do the up and down button, and it goes up and it goes down. Very nice. It's very simple. It doesn't do anything more than that, but that's very all we good. needed. And this is the music stand. This is the old music stand Jeff got from right. Guitar Center, I think. Awesome. We now have a nice <laughs> HD camera, but we started out with an old used camera or just an old like seven hundred dollar with the one that that was purchased a couple years ago, which is a very oh, basic yeah, yeah. camera. Sure, yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah. So we've upgraded significantly since mm -hmm. then, mm -hmm. um, and we've got one one light that we use. We've got another uh, another light when we do uh, two person interview. Very good. And you have a couple cameras too, right? Don't you? you do we do the... have a couple cameras for the OC Metro Minute. We just use one. Just one. Unless okay. we have someone in house, and or we go out on a shoot, then we you know we have two. I was going to say an outhouse, but the outhouse. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> So the process, again, is Tina, Kristen uploads this in the morning, generally by 7.30 or so after mm -hmm. Tina's taken a look at it. Somewhere between 7.30 and 8, we shoot uh, the minute, as you're going to see here in, in just a minute. And then it uh, gets posted on the website, uh, usually within a half an hour to an hour after that, and it's up for the day. Wow. And as I indicated, we've, we've uh, monetized the feature now and have uh, companies like Kaiser Permanente and Irvine Subaru that are, are buying a spot uh, in front of the OC Metro Minute. And so, just in two years, you said you went for zero revenue. Steve was saying, right, on your on your on your online um, uh, sponsorship. We had zero. And now, at two thousand nine, your goal is is right around seven hundred thousand. And last year, this something that every time he mentions whatever the. And this last year, though, you you actually had an actual figure of two hundred fifty thousand. You said or two hundred. It was closer to three hundred eighty. Three hundred eighty thousand. Wow. So two thousand six, it was zero. Two thousand seven. 20,000, which we were pleased about. Right, right. 2008, it was 200,000, so we wow. did that 10 times. And then uh, 2009, last year, it was in the 380 range. And just basically, we're to, to put that in layperson's terms, we're talking about pre-rolls and post-rolls on a on your, you know, of, of an advertisement uh, placement 
for example, of, of uh, right. Kaiser. That, that's not all attributed to the OC Metro Minute. That's that's including banner ads and sponsorships on the site and, sure. and video production services wow. that we now go out into the community and actually videotape. So that's a cumulative. And now you're up to something like you're looking at 22 percent of your of your total total advertisement revenue coming from non-print or, or mostly online type. That's the target for 2010. That's excellent. Yeah. Wow, very interesting. So we definitely see that shift, like Wired Magazine was forecasting, that there's a shift of, of advertising dollars moving from traditional media exactly. to the online presence. Exactly, yeah. Interesting. Very good. So we're going to shoot it here, and mm -hmm. you can film it or watch it or whatever you want to do. And okay, you that, thank you very much. I think Albert and Jeff can answer equipment questions for you. Excellent. Well, thanks so much. Sure. Uh, Make yourself comfortable okay, or wherever great. you want to be to do what you want to do. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Very helpful. I'm Tina Bergata, editor of OC Metro. It's Friday, February 5th, and this is your OC Metro Minute. Americans are hearing some good news this morning. The unemployment rate fell to 9.7% in January, much lower than the 10% economists had forecasted, and the lowest number since August. Federal officials say the economy grew at a much stronger pace in December and January than anyone had predicted. How this national news translates to Orange County will be known in the next several weeks when new local, local unemployment numbers are released, so stay tuned. Orange County's office market may not recover at the same rate as Los Angeles or San Diego's, which should see a growth by 2012, according to the Alan Matkins UCLA Anderson forecast. Instead, the region's recovery is expected to occur around 2013 or even perhaps 2014. A local of number companies are capitalizing on the super Happening? What is it? You said a local, a local of number company. A local of number, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little tongue tied today. Okay. Hope I'm not making you nervous. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I <laughs> what the deal is. You know, there's times I come in and I just do it without even a run through, and this is not one of those. Actually, things. that's good because this is going to be for in informal training of the. Uh, Chamber of Commerce team who went so through, who sat in your days. shoes a couple years ago. <laughs> so this happens at every, you know. <laughs> every holiday we run our blooper reel, so she's actually just. That's like, what, yeah, what I was, just exactly, exactly. That's what, there you go, there you go. <laughs> I'm Tina Bergata, editor of OC Metro. It's Friday, February 5th, and this is your OC Metro Minute. Americans are hearing some good news this morning. The unemployment rate fell to 9.7% in January, much lower than the 10% economists had forecast and the lowest number since August. Federal officials say the economy grew at a much stronger pace in December and January than anyone had predicted. How this national news translates to Orange County will be known in the next several weeks when new local employment numbers are released, so stay tuned. Orange County's office market may not recover cover at the same rate as Los Angeles or San Diego's, which should see growth by 2012, according to the Ellen Matkins UCLA Anderson forecast.